Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I'm so excited you are here with us. If you're returning, hey, hey, how are you? Okay, so I'm not quite sure how long this video is gonna be, but I know that we are in planner season, and a little backstory on me if you're new to the channel. Um, I have a, been a planner for as long as I can remember. As soon as they gave me the planner at school, I was like, wow, what is this? Um, I'm very much um, a list maker and I had a season of post-it notes where I wrote on post-it notes everywhere. So I've always done some sort of planning. I had um, you know, a refrigerator calendar or a wall calendar. I used that for many years. I you know, got married had babies and you know I had like notepads rather than planners I had notepads where we would write down like feeding times and then like make little notes to each other and I have like an obsession with notebooks and journals and all the things um but back in I think let's see we're in 2023 right now so 2021 um, I decided that I wanted to take better control over our finances and I wanted a budget planner and I went on this hunt and fell down this rabbit hole of budget planning and planners and landed on Happy Planner. Um, I'd always seen it in the craft stores walking by, didn't know what it was. Also, when I was a kid, I had a very nice sticker collection, um, but that was back when I didn't use a sticker. Now I use the sticker. But um, so I found Happy Planner and I went and bought all the things. I, I had the Happy Planners and everything and I found so much joy and finally I found a hobby of something that I really enjoyed doing. Um, but then last year, around this time, probably a little bit before, like maybe August, September, planner season, <clears throat> my Instagram feed started becoming like filled with Hobonichi and I'm like, I've never heard of Hobonichi. What is that? So I decided to pick up my very first Hobonichi um, let me see if I can find it. Where did I put my planners? Oh my goodness. Okay, I have like stuff everywhere. Um, so I've been reorganizing my planner space and I'm like, I don't know where my things are. Okay, so I found them. I have them in a nice basket organized behind me, but I couldn't remember that. Okay, so I picked this up on Amazon. This is a 20, this was a 2022, um, Hoping two weeks and I decided to get it. It wasn't super duper expensive, I don't think, at the time. And I really wanted to play around with it and see if this was something that I could be in for a year. Um, I liked the size of it, I liked the portability of it, um, and the idea of it. And um, I fell in love. I absolutely adore this planner. It is my small but mighty planner, and this was some of my spreads from last year. And um, I love. Toma River paper. I think it is amazing. Um, now I've realized that like, okay, I like um, thin off-white paper, who knew? Um, so I really fell in love with this planner and everything it had to offer. So I decided to take the plunge and I moved away from Happy Planner. Nothing bad to say. I still think it's a great system. I actually do some memory planning in my, my um, Happy Planner. But um, I decided to jump in and I went for the Hobonichi Cousin. And you guys, can you see? Woo, so chunky. So I have been in this planner for almost a year. And I have to say, I have found some planner piece in the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, and I have planner piece, I would say, in my Hobonichi Weeks too. Um, definitely something that I enjoy very, very much. Um, so if you are wanting to make the switch from any other kind of planner, like let's say you have an Erin Condren or you have a happy planner or, um, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of other planners. I'm on the spot. I can't think of any. Okay. So you have all these planners and you're like, okay, I really want to try the Hobonichi cousin, maybe the, um, the Avec or the, uh, the weeks, right? Toma River paper is, now, I don't know the science. I don't, I don't know anything above and beyond other than my experience with it. Um, it is very thin. Um, I was afraid that there would be like bleed through or anything like that. And not to say that there isn't ever because sometimes there is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not bleed through, but like shadow. So you can kind of see the, um, the writing on the other page. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about that. And honestly, I love it. I feel like it adds charm to it. It kind of, after it's already been written on, 
Um, it reminds me of like newspaper or um, like Bible paper. I don't know how else to describe it, but I really, really like it. So I got this planner and I'm not sure. I'm going to check the back because I think I have a lot of swatches of different. Yeah. So I went through all of this where I'm like writing and I'm testing and it's smudging and I'm like, oh my gosh. Right. So I came from Happy Planner. My favorite pen, and I don't have the Ink Joy in here, I don't think, because I've been using the body. I love, 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 love the Paper Me Ink Joy, the gel. This is a 0 0.7. Love this pen. In here right now is, um, I believe, a Sarasa Dry. If it's empty, it's my Sarasa. Yeah, it's a Sarasa. I haven't changed it. Um, because I really like this ink bot. The, 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 oh my goodness, I ha can't talk today. I really like the ink body. I like the way it feels. I love the way it writes. I primarily would use this to write on, you know, just regular paper, happy planner paper, printer paper, any of that. So, and it was fine. It's a gel pen. It didn't smudge. It was great. So I decided to use this pen in this planner. And that was terribly wrong of me um, because this is um, the, the pen, the ink, in my opinion. Again, I'm not scientific. It's nothing other than my experience. Um, it kind of sits on top of the paper rather than pulling it through. I don't know if that's actually true, but that's what it seems like to me. So I started on this mission because I'm pen obsessed. Hi, I am pen obsessed. So I went out on this mission to try different pens. And within that, I tried, um, I forget what this is, a Muji maybe, and then I don't remember what this one is. Um, but I tried these pens. I liked them. They worked okay. They were still a little smudgy. So you had to be careful. This one smudged less, and I was using this for a while. Then I discovered, through watching YouTube videos, um, I discovered the Energel Clown. And this one was really great. So this, my Hobonichi was an on-the-go planner. I was working out of the house. I would take this with me. I needed it for appointments. I needed something that was going to dry fast and not smudge. Or I could just kind of put my bookmark in. If I have one in here, I don't think I do. Um, and then, oh, here's one. Just put this in and then close it. And I didn't have to worry about ink smudging everywhere. So I would use the Energel Planner. I felt like it dried fast but there was something about it that bothered me. So if you've been around on the channel for a little bit, you've heard me say that I really enjoy a very dark, rich black ink. It's just something I really like. Um, I like the way it looks on paper. I'm a big fan of um, the way things look after they've been written on. Like once it's full and you have the after the pen look. So, you know, I have a lot of these. These are written in fountain pen ink, which I will get into that. But I tried some purple. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of colored ink. Um, for planning purposes, yes, for my weeklies, but maybe not so much for my journaling. But this pen was not cutting it for me. It didn't have that richness that I really liked. So I tend to use this pen for drawing lines, um, something that you might want to use a pencil for, because to me, it's not super dark. It dries fairly fast. So that is what my go-to is for with this pen. And then we're going to do like a swatch test. I wish I had um, an Ink Joy, and I don't think I do. I might have to pause and go look because I would like to show you guys the difference. Um, so then with my, you know, falling down the Energel Klena um, rabbit hole, will you? Um, I found this really pretty blue. This is a nice navy colored blue. This one is in a 0 0.5. So this one is gonna be a little thicker than um, the 0 0.3. This one's a little bit more juicier. So this one does take a little bit more to dry. Like I wouldn't smudge it right away and we can do a pen test on that. And then this one is also a 0 0.5 and this is really pretty brown color. And if you've been around and if you've seen a couple of my videos this week, I am using this for my planning this week. I love this color. I don't like to journal in it, but I will plan with it. Um, and I do like this color. It's really pretty. Um, all these pens and everything I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to have them linked in my Amazon storefront. You can find the link to that down in the description box. And also, if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget. Hit that bell notification so you're always notified when we come out with something new. And also, if you're enjoying this video or any other videos that we've put out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel. Okay, so we have the Energel 
This is also an Energel Clinic. This is a 0 0.5. And I was thinking like, okay, so a thicker nib, um, this will give me that darker, richer feel that I like. But this one smudges a lot. So I'm like, no, well, I don't know what to do. Okay, here comes Poppy. If you're new here, I have my planner cat. Her name is Poppy. She's hearing me do all these things. I'm not sure how much, <laughs> where she's going to lay because I have a lot of stuff on my desk right now. I'm actually going to move my coffee because we don't need any spillage around the planners. Okay, Poppy, can you get settled, lovey? There you go, baby girl. Aw, go ahead. No, oh, now she's going to clean herself. Okay, anyways. So then, again, watching other Hobonichi planners and videos, um, I discovered the Sarasa Dry, and I was like, what is that? So finally, with this pen, it is a 0 0.4. Um, I have found the right... Um, richness and it dries super fast. So I would say this is probably my number one um, suggestion for your Hobonichi. If you're new and you're looking for the perfect pen, um, this is my perfect pen. I think that you would probably be very happy with it. It doesn't smudge. Um, it does dry. Well, it can smudge. Like if you touch it right away, any of these pens, if you touch it right away, it's going to smudge a little bit or leave some sort of a shadow. You got to let it dry for like a second. But there's a difference between a second or two and then like minutes. I've got Poppy. She's like really interested in my cords. Oh, come on. All right, we're gonna move her. This is our annual moving Poppy. We're having trouble. The whole side of the desk that she normally lays on is covered in planners and stickers and things. Okay, recently I have found this pen. So this is, let me grab the package. Okay, so this is um, a black, it's a 0 0.5, um, and I believe these are gel pens, and they dry super fast. So I like them. I like the pen body. There's like this nice grip on here. I obviously, I like this aesthetic with this coffee on it, so you can't go wrong. Um, I haven't done a smudge test on this because being in the planners for a little bit now, I when I'm using them, especially my Kobanichi cousin, I'm usually at home. Um and it's on my desk, it doesn't leave my desk. So I don't really need anything that dries super duper fast. I also recommend, I've created um, pencil boards, you can use them as a blotter, um, and then you can use it just so it doesn't transfer to the other page, like if you're all done and you close it, that kind of thing. Um, and then I tend to use my Sarasa Dry in my Hobonichi weeks that I carry around with me. It's my everyday carry. So I haven't tested this. I haven't done a smudge test. So we'll do a smudge test on that one. And like I said, I wish I had, oh, I wish I had my ink choice. I, I think I might have one in my pen box. I have to look in my back stash. So we will look. Um, and then I have all these different types of markers and whatnots. And I have some fountain pens. So let's go over the fountain pens. Now I am by no means a fountain pen guru. I have just recently, maybe in the last six months, really gotten into fountain pens. <clears throat> I have a few favorites and a few maybe not so favorites. Um, so we'll go over these. And right now, these are all inked up with the Hog Tien, which I don't know if I'm saying that correctly because I'm terrible at pronouncing things. But this ink, really like this ink. It's really nice. It's a black ink. Um, I really like the way it looks. And the way it dries. So some inks I've tried, they start off really, um, really rich and nice, and then they dry kind of faded. So this one holds that bold richness that I like. Um, I have other colors, and I just cannot get on the color train. I'm trying, so I might have to just find the right ink, maybe. So I have different ones that I've been trying. Sorry, I stopped talking because I was away from the microphone. Um, so I don't know how to pronounce this. So Shin Roy Roy Royoku, Shin Royoku. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a pretty green. Um, I don't not like it. I just don't like writing in it. So I'll plan with this, but I, I don't tend to ink these up with the colors because I like to write with them in my journal, which is also weird for me. I think I write and plan with these kind of pens and then I journal with a fountain pen. Let me know down in the comments if that is you as well. Um, and then I have this one that I cannot pronounce. So I hope you guys can see that. This is like a really pretty like grayish color, which I thought I was going to really like. But again, it dries kind of, um, maybe it was this one, the sailor one. I don't know. Now I can't remember. One of them is a brown and one of them is like a gray color. 
I really like these inks. It's just my own personal preference. I don't like writing with them. So I tend to use this black one. Um, and I really like this one. I remember, if I remember correctly, these are very affordable on um, Amazon. And I have stuff linked in a, um, I think it's called fountain pens. Okay. All of these pens came from Amazon. I'm just going to say that. Um, so we'll start with, these are the I say Kawago, but I think you add at the high words. I think it's also off. Hmm. Let's try that one more time, shall we? I think it's pronounced Kawago. Um, I'm not sure, but if you are new around here, I don't pronounce things very well. So here we are. Okay. So for me, and these are all I think fine, a fine nib, if I remember correctly trying to find a page that I really, I haven't filled out any of these. Oh, I swatched all of my washi. All right, so we're just gonna use the back side of this because I think this is just note pages anyways. And I think that I probably will just use these pages maybe for a year end recap or something I haven't decided yet. So this will be okay for a pen swatching. Um, let's do, let's get this out of my way for now. And I can't remember, one of these doesn't work very well and I don't remember which one it is, so I apologize. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in so we can see this a little bit better. Maybe we can't see it too well with this washi on this backside, I'm not sure. We'll try it, shall we? All right, so this one, this is the one that doesn't work. I don't know why. I just inked it, maybe it just needs some time. I just put a new cartridge in this one. I'm not a huge fan of these, but by no means, don't. I don't know. If you like them, you like them. Um, I think that for me too, a lot of my issue with these is that it is, this is the sport. So it is a very small pen. Um, adding the pen cap to it does give it some more length, but there isn't, um, it's plastic. So it, there isn't a lot of weight to it. And I like to write with something that's a little bit more weighted, but this one is a fine nib and that's what it looks like. And it's, it, this is all, again, this is all that, this ink, this Hogdian ink. And then this is the, oh, here comes Willow. I don't know if that's two Vs. So we're just going to, but I'm not a huge fan of these pens. Like I, just the ink isn't very, very deep, very dark. So my very first pen, here comes Willow, was a Twisby. This is a Twisby Eco. I love this pen. It's super easy to fill. I like the way it writes. I like the nib. Um, and you can see I inked up all my pens today. See, I've got all over me. The one issue I have with this pen is when I write with it, there's like a little lip over here that kind of digs into my finger and I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but if I can situate my hand on there properly and not move, then it's fine. So this is a Twisby, I think I spelled it wrong, Eco. And then as you can see, like this ink, it's the same ink, but it's just deeper and richer. So I wouldn't like, um, I don't know, I feel like I can put the same ink in all these pens and they all look different, but this was my first pen. This is probably my second favorite pen. I like this pen, the weight is nice. Um, I think my only issue with this pen is that little, like bump that's on there. And I think it's just when I'm writing, if I get too close, it kind of like sticks out and it bothers my finger. But other than that, I really like this pen and they are really pretty pens. Okay. My next one was this. This is a hog. I can't really say it. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's a hog Dien. And I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I love this pen. I think it's so beautiful. So this is, um, this isn't a cartridge. This is like the Twisby Eco where you just like roll it up. Um, I don't know what this is called. Again, I'm very beginner in fountain pens, but I do like this one. I tend to write with this one a lot. And this one is pretty much as rich as the Eco. And I really like this nib. It's like silver and gold. So I really enjoy this pen. Um, I think the downfall to this pen is that this is the only space for the ink. So you stick it in your ink and then you throw it back and you, you suck it in there. Um, it's not a lot. So this pen does go, I have to refill this one a lot, but I do like this one. I like the weight, I like the grip. It's a nice pen, I think. So it it, it made me <laughs> go out and get this one. This one is also a hog DN. And I just had to have it because we're in fall and I love these fall leaves. This pen also, 
Um, I like the weight of it. I like the way it writes. This one is a cartridge, um, so you can just pull this out and then you fill the cartridge and put it back in. So we'll just write in, and this is the fall pen. We'll just call it that. And this one, I can't remember, I'd have to look it up, but I'm not sure if I got this one in a medium nib. And I'm not sure if it says it on the actual nib because I can't see, <laughs> but it might. Probably does and I just can't read it. But I can't remember because I had been looking at like a medium nib, I was thinking about it. Um, so this one might be a medium nib, but if it's not, it's, it's a fine, fine nib, there we go. And this one's all gold, so I really like this. So if you're into um, learning or exploring fountain pens or if you are a seasoned fountain pen user, um, let me know down in the comments your favorite or anything that you've tried or experimented with. Um, and then I have this nice little pen holder from my favorite, the Coffee Monster Co. Oh, we're zoomed in a bit. <laughs> and these all fit in here very nicely for when I am on the go. So cute, okay. So with these pens, um, they've been sitting here drying for a little while, so we're pretty dry, except for the last one that I used. So any pen that you use, there's gonna be some smudge, I think, minimal, some of them are gonna be maximum, that kind of thing. So when I'm writing, um, I tend to, if I do my to-do list, so when I'm writing my list, I write that first, and then I write out my, um, my day. So this way my hand isn't resting on it and I'm not smudging it, or I will just take my pencil board and put that there so I can write and not smudge anything. Okay, so let's compare some pens. Let's do the Energel Cleanse. So these are, let me see, this one, I think the blue and the brown are the same. This one's a five. I thought I had a four. I might. I do, ha. Huh. So I have a four, I have a three, I have a four and then these are five. So let's do a little comparison here. So we'll start off with the zero three. And this is, let me see, how do I even spell it? I don't know. This is an inner gel. And then this one is the 0 0.3. So this one, I'm gonna just give it a quick second. Make sure my hands aren't like so see, that dries really fast, okay? And then you've got the four. So let's do Energel, and this is the four. This one's a little darker. We'll give it a second, and it dries pretty nicely. So I think like, you know, depending on which um, type of like richness you like. I, I like these pens, I don't think they're terrible. I'm not, I'm very particular about my pen body. So I think that um, that's why I keep going back to this Inkjoy body because it just it's like the perfect pen body for me. But you can take these inks out and then just put them into a body as long as it fits. Okay, so let's move on to the five. This one is the five. And this one's gonna be a little bit darker, a little juicier. And let's see how well this one dries. Give it a second. So these three pens are really nice. So you have three different sizes. You have the, the three, the four, and the five, and they all dry fairly quickly. This is also a five. This is an Energel Cleaner. This is in this really pretty blue color. This one's a little bit more juicy, I think. So we'll give it a minute to dry. Give it a minute. My son would be like, oh, you rhymed. So that one does have some smudge on it, but I do feel that it is a little bit more juicy than the other one, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then this one is also a 0 0.5, and this is the inner gel. This really pretty blue. They write smoother. I can definitely tell the difference between these two, and maybe I'm crazy, and then this black one. So these two, I feel, are a little bit more juicy. I don't know if these are like good words to describe ink, but that's how I feel. And then this one is a little drier. Um, so like I said, these top three, they dry pretty fast. And then this one, 
Um, there is a little bit, but nothing crazy, so you might have to give it an extra second, but I would say all four of these pens are excellent choices for your Hobonichi Cousin or your Hobonichi Week. Okay, now let's get into, I think this is a Muji pen. I cannot remember, or it's supposed to be close, like something similar to it. No, it is a Muji, I was right. Um, this one is a 0 0.7, so this is a gel pen. And then this one, you can see, the richness because of the nib. So that one is a 0 0.7. This one is going to smudge. If I remember correctly, this one smudges. So let's give it another second and then, yeah. So this pen, I would say is a good pen if you wanna use it. If it's something that you're gonna use to write and then kind of let your page dry, maybe you're using it at your desk and then you, you write out your plans and then you just put your pen down and leave it open. I think it would work fine. You could also, like I said, have a pencil board. I've made these, um, they're just laminated. And then I just pop that in there and then I close it so there isn't transfer to the other page. So that would work as well. Um, this one, I don't remember what this one is called. This one is a 0 0.35. So this is more for like drawing fine lines and things like that. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but this one's gonna be very thin. So let's do no name because I can't remember the name of it. And this is a 0 0.35. And this one's nice. This one's actually running out. This one's not terrible. And I can't remember for sure if this one smudges as much as the other one. So we'll give it another little second here. And then we'll... So that one's not too bad. So if you like a really fine nib, this one would work. Again, I will link this in my Amazon shop. All these pens that you see, I'll put them in um, a nice little file or folder or storefront, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this one does have some mineral, minimal smudge on it. Now, I do want to find an ink choice. So I'm going to pause for a second and see if I can find one. Okay, I'm really excited. I found one. It's a brand new one. So let me see if I can get this thing off. I'm terrible with this, especially with my nails. Oh, I did it. Okay. So this is the Inkjoy, Paper Mate Inkjoy, and this is a 0 0.7. Now, mind you, this was the pen that I decided to, um, that I was always using. And I, when I used this for the first time, I was like, oh no. Okay, so this is Inkjoy, and this is a 0 0.7. But I mean, like, it just writes like pure butter on here. I, I still love this pen on here. Um, but when I'm writing, I want to be able to um, have it dry faster, I guess, when it comes to planning and things like that. So I'll give it another second. And yeah, so I was having some trouble. Um, I don't know if you are feeling the same way or if you're nervous or if you have no idea where to start when it comes to pens. So I really hope that this video is helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments below if it is. Um, I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Okay, so this one is a Sarasa Dry. I'm not sure if this comes in other sizes. I got the 04. I love it. I haven't changed it. The only thing I don't like about it, I don't like this pen body. If you've been around on the channel, you hear me say it all the time. I do not like this pen body. Um, I've gotten extremely lazy in the last few weeks because I haven't changed out my empty one because I use this one. Um, so maybe I'll get around to do that. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do it in this video. Okay. So we've got a Sarasa, and this is Sarasa Dry, and this is 0 0.4, and this one's going to dry fairly fast. Give it another second, and then it's dry. So I would say this is probably my number one. This is my number one when it's in my Ink Joy body. So we're going to do that now. So in case you're wondering how to do this, it's not very hard. So it's my empty one, and I know I can buy um, refills but I had a bunch that I purchased, so I just take the ink out. No, oh, I don't need that. Put that in. Oh, hi. Let me think, where does this go to? Oh, did that come out of my pen? Hold on. <laughs> yep, it sure did. So let's get that back out again, and this goes in there. There we go. Oh no, what did I do? Hold on, I'm all like, yeah, let me show you how to do this, guys. And then I totally mess it up. So let's try that again. We've got that. 
Okay, that's what happened. We're gonna keep this in here, so I know this is why. I gotta like mark these pens now, or put it somewhere separate, so I know not to use that one. Okay, let's try this again. So I think it went this way. Oh, hi, I'm having so many problems today. Let's try it again. I promise it fits in here. I use it all the time. Why is this being difficult? Okay, this goes this way. Okay, check. And that goes in there. And then this, there we go. See, try and try again. <laughs> and now I have my Sarasa dry in my Ink Joy body. So this is Sarasa dry 0 0.4 and ink gel body. And then we'll give it a second. I'm gonna throw this away. Totally dry. Really like that. Okay, I'm gonna throw this away. Here I was thinking this was gonna be a fairly short video. You girl likes to talk, guys. All right, so this is now my Sarasa dry. This one is that um, Coffee Soft Bread, it's called. I don't know if that's the brand. Um, I like these. I just got them like a week or two ago. And there's four different colors in here. I mean, not four different, yeah, four different colored pens. They're all right black. Um, okay, so this is the 0 0.5, so we'll try this one. We'll do, I actually haven't done a smear test on this one. So Coffee Soft Bread, and this is a 0 0.5. We'll give this one a second. Yeah, so there is some smudge to this one. This one advertises that it's super fast drying. Not saying that, I mean, that was super fast. And considering the amount of smudge for the Ink Joy um, versus this one, it's minimal. So you might have to give it that extra second, just like you have to give maybe, you know, your, your Energel, the blue one, just a nanosecond longer to dry. But, so I've got to say, ranking-wise, my Sarasa is my favorite. I would say Sarasa is my favorite, and then these Energels are also fantastic pens. Okay, so we've done our pens. Now, guys, um, if you're a creative planner, you like to use your markers and highlighters and all that stuff, what can you use? Well, you can pretty much use anything. I have found that, um, I haven't found a marker that I haven't liked in here, and I've used like the Crayola markers and all that stuff. So we're running out of space. Um, we're going to try to use this little baby bottom part over here. And I'm not going to swatch all these, but we have this mild, li mild liner. I always want to call it a mid liner. I don't know why, but and I've been really good about it. So this is by um, Zebra. And this color is copper. I think I got this one with some other fall colors last year. So then you have that. And then you have like this little pool sometimes with some of these when you're making your little highlight. Let me zoom you in. And I just use my finger to blot it. You can use blotting paper or you can use tissue. Um, I use my finger. Um, I have like this really bad sensory thing when my hands are dirty that I'm really trying to push through because I do like, um, <clears throat> I do like fountain pens. Probably not the best hobby for somebody who doesn't like to get their hands dirty. Okay, so this is a mild liner. I really like how that looks. And, you know, there's a dual tip. So you have your, your, um, I don't know. What is that word that I'm looking for? Like etched, I don't know. What's the word? Double-ended fine point. Um, so this is the bold. I don't even know what you'd call that. But that's your bold side. And then here is your pen side. It's just a, it's not super fine, but it's nice. Okay. Now going for the same, let's do purple. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with this one because this one seems very similar to this color and I'm curious how they compare. Okay, so this is Tombow. This is 947. Um, these are really nice brush pens. So like this is like a chiseled. That's what the word was I was looking for. This is a chiseled hard end. Um, it's more like a highlighter. Um, and this is a soft brush pen. Very similar. And then there is a little bit at the end that sometimes I just like to blot. Depends. Sometimes I like how it looks. And then this also has a fine tip, and this is Tombow. I don't really have a preference. 
Um, I tend to use Tombow's more because I've found that with hand lettering, for me personally, these work really well. Um, people use mild liners, um, but I really like using the Tombow. Specifically, I really like to use the Tombow Funeske, and I'm still not sure if I say that correctly. Close, not sure, but this is the, um, this is the hard tip, and it's a hard tip brush pen. So we're gonna write, um, We'll just write up Tombow. I use this pen. I actually need to get another one. I use this pen for a lot of my writing in my journal. Sorry if that just got blurry. I don't know what's going on with my camera lately. I use this to write most of my headers in my journal. Um, and I really like how these look. And recently, so I've been cleaning out my craft space. And I guess things get a little like, not out of control, but... I wasn't organizing things very well. So I found these. Um, I purchased these a while ago. These are also Fudineske. Um, These are also by Tom Bow. I don't know. This is also a hard tip. And I have a variety pack of colors. So this is the brown one. We're going to stick with that one. And let's just write it out. I've been really liking these and using these um, for different spreads. So... Definitely need to get a new one of these, but these are just a few of my favorites that I like to use when I am planning in my Hobonichis. Um, I know that when I first started, I was kind of, I dove in. I'm the type of person that like, even if I don't know, I will just dive in and figure it out as I go. So that's pretty much what I did with my first Hobonichi weeks. And um, through some trial and error um, and figuring out what I liked, um, you know, I've gone from, let's see. Let's find this. I can't find one. All right. Sorry, guys. I've gone from you know, this kind of spread where it's not very dark. This was the Sarasa. No, not the Sarasa. This was the Energel Clena. I've gone from that to um, writing in... A darker Sarasa dry. So I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Um, maybe it's just me because it's a preference thing. I'm not sure. But I have definitely have found my way and I'm still finding my way and my Hobonichis and I'm still learning and I'm still watching different YouTube two videos and I'm still learning about fountain pens and all the things. Um, but I'm enjoying myself thoroughly on the journey. So I really hope that this helped you. I will link um, all the pens that I used in my Amazon storefront. So you will have everything right there in case it's something you want to take a look at. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you new to Hobonichi? Are you a seasoned Hobonichi planner? Are you like, kind of like, I'm not sure if I want to leave my planning system, but this looks really interesting kind of person. Like, I want to know. Let me know down in the comments and let me know um, if you use any of these pens, which one your favorite is, if you're a Hobonichi planner or if you plan on Toma River paper, let me know. I will put in a disclaimer. I have not tested any of these pens on the new Toma River paper that has come out for the 2024 Hobonichi Cousin. So um, we might have to do an updated video. I have a feeling that these pens will perform the same way. Um, um, but that's the disclaimer. So there is some new Tome River paper, I believe, just in the Home Nietzsche Cousin, if I remember correctly. Um, so we will maybe do this again and we'll see and we'll compare and see difference in paper and what we like and what we don't like. So we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. Any questions, um, please feel free to reach out. I try to answer the comments um, timely. So if the video just goes up and you go up there commenting, usually I'm still hanging around. So I have a chance to get on there and answer questions. And then sometimes life just gets on the way. Um, kids, husband, all the things. And I slowly but surely will answer all the comments, even if they're a few weeks old. So be patient with me. I appreciate it. Um, we're trying our best over here. So let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, like I said. And if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget and hit that little bell notification. So you'll be notified anytime we come out with something new on the channel, especially if you're new to Hobonichi. This is the spot where you want to be. Um, and what else? Anything else? I can't remember. I think that was it. So... Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We appreciate it. We know that we're all busy, so hanging out and planning and pen swatching with us is very much appreciated. And until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.